Hi Samurais and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're doing our first ever drugstore haul. Now growing up as a kid, CoverGirl and L'Oreal and Maybelline were always in my mom's makeup bag so those were the ones that we always gravitated towards or I gravitated towards whenever I wanted to play around in makeup. But today we are taking a step back from those bigger name brands that we normally use on the channel and we're going to find things that are more cost effective not only for myself but for you guys as my viewers. As we all know, the makeup industry and makeup in general can be very, very expensive. So paying, you know, $30 to $40 for a foundation may not be in your budget, but a $12 to $15 may. So this is a video for you guys to save money as well as anyone who's looking to get into the makeup world but doesn't have a big budget. These are all products that you can pick up at Ulta or Walmart or CVS at a very, very low price. So make sure before you guys leave, you hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so you're notified when new content is uploaded. I hope you all are having an amazing day. Stay safe and as always, make good choices. All right, to get started on the first drugstore product that I picked up for this look, I did pick up the NYX Marshmallow Primer. This does retail for $16.97. I picked this up at Walmart because Ulta was sold out. Let's go ahead and prep our skin using that Marshmallow Primer. And for foundation, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade 110 Porcelain. This one I got at Ulta as well. It retails for $11.99 and I'm going to apply that with my damp beauty blender. Now that our foundation has been blended out, we're going to go with the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 Hour Camo Concealer. This is a dupe apparently for the Tarte Shape Tape and I am using shade Fair Warm and this retails for $6 and I picked this up at Walmart. Now I'm going to go back in with my beauty blender and blend all of this out.
Overall, once I blended out the concealer, I do really, really like the way this blends out. The coverage is really nice as well. Definitely going to be something that I can use without, you know, breaking the bank. All right, so for setting powder today, we are going to use the Maybelline Fit Me powder in the shade 05 Fair. I picked this up at Ulta for $7.99. Alright, so we're going to let that set for just a minute and we'll be right back. Now that that is set, I'm going to go back in with my JH01 fluffy brush. You can use any brush that you prefer, but I'm just going to use this to go in and dust off the excess powder. Now that that is finished, we're going to go in with our bronzing powder to contour our cheekbones and the tops of our forehead. I am using the Milani 02 Sunkissed Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I did pick this up at Walmart and it's $8.97. All right, for blush, I'm going to go in with the Essence Mosaic Blush. This retails at Ulta for $3.99. You can also buy Essex at CVS. It's where I typically buy my Essence. Um, but this is a very pretty pink. And this specific one is number 40, the Berry Collection. And I'm just going to apply that with my JH04 Angled Brush. And I'm just going to go back in with that same brush that I applied my contour with just to blend it out a little bit more. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade 321B Precious Pearl. This does retail for $5.99 at Ulta.
For our eyebrows today, we're using the Essence Micro Pencil in the shade 02. This is a waterproof brow pencil. This does retail for $2.99 at Ulta. And this pencil does twist at the top. And then we'll just go back in with that spoolie. Just to blend it out a little bit. I did forget eyeshadow primer, but I'm just going to go back in with the e.l.f. Camo Primer on my Beauty Blender to prime my eyelids. Now that we have our eyebrows done and our eyelids primed, we're going to go in with the Milani 140 Rosy Revenge Most Wanted Palette. This is a very pretty rosy pinks palette. This one was on clearance, I believe. No, this was $9.99 at Ulta. But like I said, you can pick up Milani products at Walmart. So to just go over as a base on my eyelids, I am going to take this light pink color here and just sweep that across my eyelid. In our crease, we're going to take this lighter pink. It is darker than this one that we put across our eyelids. But we're gonna start with this color and we're gonna apply that with the Morphe M506 brush. And I am gonna work this into my crease and just a little bit higher because I have hooded eyelids. So we just wanna go a little bit higher so that way we can actually see the color. So next, taking a JH50 Morphe brush, I'm going to go in with this 
darker pinkish red color and I'm going to use this to intensify the crease. Now taking the JS5 blending brush, we are going to go in with this purple shade and we're just going to apply this to the outer corner and a little bit in towards the um, outer portion of the lid and then we'll go from there. Now taking that middle pink shade, I'm going to go back in and just blend this out a little bit more. And then that lighter pink shade that we used So with this, with this middle pink shade, we're going to take the same brush we applied it with and we're going to drag that down into our lower lash line. Now taking my Morphe 421 flat brush, I'm going in with this first shade, the shimmer shade, and I'm going to apply that to my inner eyelid and blend that into the darker purple. Now that we have that applied, we're going to go back in with the same brush, the Jeffree Star Morphe 5 brush, and we're going to blend the darker side into that shimmer. Mm -hmm. 
Now that our eyes are done, we're gonna go in and curl our eyelashes. When I curl my eyelashes, I do a light squeeze as I pull the curlers up. You just wanna make sure you don't squeeze too hard. I'm going to prime my lashes with the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer Super Volume with Super Fruits. I picked this up at Ulta, it was $4.99. I did see this at CVS as well for the same price. Now that our eyelashes are primed, I'm gonna go back in with the Essence High Beauty Vegan Volume Mascara. This does have organic hemp seed oil, sunflower wax, in, which also conditions and strengths. I got this at Ulta for $5.99 and I have seen this at CVS. I'm not normally one for lash primer, but these eyelashes, after the primer, I like it. For the inner corner and our brow bone, I am gonna go back in with the Wet n Wild highlighter with that M421 brush just to highlight our inner corner. All right, now that we've highlighted, I am gonna go back in for lipstick. And for the lipstick today, I am using the NYX Lingerie Shade Bustier. And this retails, I picked this up at Ulta, it's $7. And you can also get this at any drugstore that sells NYX. I did forget to pick up a new e.l.f. mattifying setting spray, so today I am going to use my Morphe setting spray. This is the Sweet Peach. I did get this on clearance. I think I paid like four or five bucks for it on Morphe's website. And now we're dry. And this is the final drugstore look. 